Hey guys, so I'm about to introduce you to one of the greatest command line calendars I think I have ever seen. And I've been using it now for about two-ish months, maybe a bit more than that, and it is called Remind. So Remind basically is meant to originally be a replacement for this program called uh, Calendar for a bunch of different Unix systems. This is the man page for Calendar. So it's pretty short. Now this is the man page for Remind. It's very long. And the reason for that is that Remind is insanely powerful. It's basically meant to give you reminders of upcoming events and basically be a simple calendar app. If you guys are interested in other Unix utilities, um, if you guys are interested in command line tools, scripting, programming, any of that sort of stuff, make sure to subscribe. Uh, hit the thumbs up so you guys can like this video. and Hit the bell icon so you guys will get notified of my next video I make. Now actually looking at your reminders in your calendar is pretty simple. You can just do remind and then the path. So we're gonna do rem dot remind for me. And then this is one event and this is another. And then I'm, even though they already are, uh, say your file wasn't ordered by time, you can just do dash G and it will actually give us the events ordered by time. Now obviously you could get it to give you a lot more information than this. Um, I'm not really gonna go into that, but you can have it even say like this event and then at this time or in a few days, that sort of stuff. I'm not really gonna go too far into that, but that's basically how you could generally call it. Now say for example, I wanted a bit more than that. I could do C plus, I get my whole week schedule. Say I go C one, I hold my month schedule. So say, say I want even more than that, I could do dash P and it will actually give all these dates in this format, but this can actually be used with a separate program that comes with Remind called Rem2PS and then it prints out all this information and that's actually a postscript. So if I pipe that into Zathura, I actually get my whole calendar as a postscript file. So say if I wanted that as a PDF, I could just do PS to PDF, which you may have installed on your computer already. And then pipe that into Zathura and there you go, now it's a PDF. So I could, uh, give this PDF to uh, somebody so that way they know my schedule for the week. So let's look at another program called TK Remind. And we're just gonna open it with this file. And looking at TK Remind, it gives you a notification of everything you've got to do for today when you first open it. And you can do a lot of stuff. So here's all of our events that we've added. And then I can actually create a new event by just clicking on a date and then typing in, blah, blah, blah. there you go, that's just an example. And then add reminder to file. And there we go, now we have a reminder on that date. Now you could even go ahead, you could go back, um, you could print it, you can do a bunch of different stuff, um, which is really cool. You can even have this give you notifications of upcoming events, which is pretty neat. So that's TK Remind. Now another tool you can use is WYRD. Look at that. Now this is an NCurses based calendar that you guys can look at and you'll see that it gives you all your events coming up. So here's all my things that I added before. And then if I go to the next day, you'll see that it also has our full day event that I added before. If we go on, it doesn't show anything. And then you can do uh, shift C to get your month view like we had before. Oh, look at this, I wanna go to this event. Well, I can click enter and there we go. It takes me exactly to the one I was just looking at so I can edit it so I can just remove uh, this done. And there we go, now it just says this there or get this done, um, this is done. There you go, now it's updated. Really quick, really fast, and um, you can customize it really easily. Uh, highly recommend it if you guys decide to use Remind. Now Remind is really simple. In fact, you can actually create a calendar in Remind in just your text editor. So let's create remind.rem. And so in here, we're gonna do rem, and then we're gonna give it a date. So we're gonna do Tuesday, and then we're gonna just go give it a message, so msg. This is on every Tues. So basically, now we have a reminder that will go off every single Tuesday. In fact, we can just make it TUS for every Tuesday. Now that's pretty cool. You can even have it give you a warning like a day ahead by doing plus one before that. And then you can do at and give it a time. So you can do 10 p.m. So there we go, 10 p.m. Tuesday, every Tuesday. Now you can automate adding this part at the very end. In fact, you can automate a lot of this stuff automatically using shell scripts and stuff like that, which is one of the greatest things about Remind. Now, while this may be pretty neat, uh, there's a lot more that you can do. So say you wanted to do, let's say the first Monday of every month. Now, I'm sure you guys probably would have to go ahead and manually add this into your calendar. It'd be a bit of a hassle. There's not really an easy way to do this in most calendars. But in Remind, you just do mon, o n, and then you just one, 
And so basically now we just say the first, this is basically the first Monday of every month. And you could change that to uh, Tuesday as well or whatever you want to do. So pretty simple. So this will activate first Tuesday of every month. And then we could do every weekday by actually just doing uh, Mon, Who's, uh, basically all the way up till Friday. And that's every single weekday. Now you could even do, uh, say you could do like every Monday and you could even say until, um, you could say every two, oh, now there's even more, you could use run, which actually will run a command and you can give it a command. Okay, so we're just gonna change this to every Thursday, um, just so we have something that will happen today. Something worth mentioning here is that uh, remind is actually not case sensitive, so you can make all of this um, lowercase if you wanted to, but I like the uppercase. I find it's a lot more readable. And so now then let's save that, and then we can do remind. So now if we run remind on it, we will see that I have that event that I had. So let's go back to it, check it out, and there's the event. There's actually other tools out there like uh, rem to iCal, which or ICS, which allows you to export a remind file into an iCal file, or iCal to rim, which actually allows you to convert an iCal file into a rem remind file, which is really neat. Vim even comes with remind syntax built in. People have made Emacs extensions for a remind if you guys are Emacs users. There's a lot more to it. Remind is really powerful. I highly recommend everyone takes a look at it. There's a lot more that you can do with remind. And in fact, I don't think I could show all of it off in one video. So for now, I'm going to stop there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.